Hi Libra, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading for uh, the 24th of May through to the 6th of June. Um, your energy cards I'm going to give you two weeks of. The same with the Whispering Woods and the Angels and Ancestors, but just one lot of the um, Greenwich Tarot. So let's get straight into it. Please like, share and subscribe for me. If you like what I'm doing, um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. We've gone fortnightly for readings. Um, some star signs I will be taking to monthly just because I'm not getting enough views to warrant keeping it um, weekly or fortnightly. Some of them are going to go back to being weekly. Um, so, yeah, so just look out on the community page. For that announcement so my darlings week one you got smoke and mirrors something is not as clear as it could be or should be libra hold on a second lovelies i'm about to lose my little cat that's keeping my hair in because i'm hennering my hair as we speak and do this lovelies and i've just got henna all over my hands lovely do apologise if my fingers look a little bit on the brown side. So yeah, thing something isn't as clear as it should be or could be. Um, I'm kind of getting the essence that maybe you've taken on too much and it's clouded or muddied the waters a little bit for you. Um, but it's going to sort itself out. Smoke and mirrors. It could be that you're deflecting something or somebody else. Or it could be that something is just a little bit more difficult than it should be or could be. Um, just keep that in mind for week one, the week of the 24th. Um, I'm not getting an essence of it being shockingly bad. I just think that you may feel a little bit overwhelmed with stuff. And I'm getting that the smoke is going to clear... And as it clears, it's going to be so, the clarity is going to be so clear, it's going to be so balanced for you. The, can you see the little stars and the little butterflies? That's what's going to happen when that smoke clears away from that mirror. For those of you that do mirror magic, um, I have to say, sometimes you do a mirror, mirror magic and it is as crystal clear as any. It's like looking into crystal clear water and then other times you get like a haze like a veil and that's almost what this smoke and mirrors is is depicting for me it's like the universe is not ready to reveal to you what it is that you need to know to move that one step forward this first week um but it is going to clear Oh, is that why? Quieting the mind. Do you know what most Libra? I am Libra. Anybody who's been watching the channel, I'm Libra Gemini rising with Cancer, um, Moon in Cancer, Cancer in Moon, what, however you put it. Um, and I've got four placements of Virgo as well. Um, mightily shocking to me because I don't resemble a Virgo at all in any shape or form. Um, but quieting the mind for Libra. Oh my God, we so need this Libra. Darlings, get meditating. Take yourself into that safe, calm place that you go to, whether it's a dream state, whether it's a meditative state, whether it's just a walk and you lose yourself in nature. You really do need to quieten your mind. Um, what this smoke and mirrors is doing, and you know, I'm a Libra. I do this all the time. I know other people do it, but with Libras, we need to know every last little bit around an issue or every last little bit around a project, or every little bit around whatever we're being told. We need that information. We need to do the research. And once we've done the research, we do research on the research, on the research, on the research. So, yeah, been there, done that, do it all the time. Get a thousand scenarios in my head on how something's going to work out, and I never hit the button. Go figure. Maybe get close to it, but I don't actually hit the nail on the head. So, 
quieten your mind if that's what you're doing if you're over processing at the moment libra and we all do it as librans we do if you're over processing something um it will block your manifestation so feel your mind if your mind is going 10 to the dozen fill your mind with manifestations and wish fulfillments rather than over process something that you are dealing with at the moment oh my goodness bearing fruit oh wow libra whatever projects it is that you're doing um they're going to be phenomenal you know and i'm i'm not discluding projects like getting married and making families that's a project in itself believe me um but bearing fruit whatever you're turning your hand to as you quieten your mind you will get inspiration and you will want to action it immediately absolutely immediately and there's going to be a lot of joy from this so the i'm kind i'm going to go back and say the universe is kind of holding a veil over what it is that you need to see to do this because you need that time for your mind to quieten down in order for you to see that you are bearing fruit already you are producing whatever it is that you're doing you are producing what it is that you need um, but it's gonna it is really gonna turn events can you see that like I showed you the stars and the butterflies in this one but you've got stars in that card and then in this card you've got a star and a butterfly just there as well so don't just know that the first week things may be hidden from you but the second week oh my goodness just be really mindful of your own mind um, because you can you have the ability yet to over process you know you do um yeah so just quieten the mind be your own best friend for that week and don't you know appreciate get into that attitude of gratitude um, because if this bearing of fruit is coming around the more that you are grateful for the more that you will receive i have to say so when you're manifesting and putting it out there in the quietening of your mind um make sure that you are sitting in your energy putting it out there to the universe this is what i want this is what i want and then what you'll see is the bearing fruit you want a successful business you want a successful relationship whatever it is drawing a soulmate to you whatever it is start doing that by quietening the mind and allowing the universe to do their thing what started your what the fuck and that is facing your fears and taking your power back oh goodness manifestation i am not surprised by that card at all movement and journey for libra what can you do about this situation Labour? i think i've already told you i could take this reading down to three cards with that deck couldn't i really but let's carry on let's do the what the fuck oh wow okay your magical self my darlings so that is what's out of your hands just for this fortnight reconnecting to your true self that doesn't surprise me at all and then your outcome what the fuck is happening next for libra plays There's a bit of a story about what's happening next, Libra. So, my lovelies, what started your what the fuck? You've got the Ten of Pentacles. This is the ultimate happy family. I just heard reunion. I'm getting that some of you have had a reunion with family just recently. Not surprising with the lockdown being lifted in the UK. Not quite sure what's going on in the States. Haven't spoken to um family members this week because somebody's in hospital out there 
So um, just be aware that this is the ultimate happiness. This is the family coming together for the family. Um, and I have to say, like most families, although it seems to be plain sailing, if you've got an inkling, if you've got an idea that somebody's not being all there cracked up to be, and this is a complete download, because I don't normally get this with the Ten of Pentacles, go with your gut feeling. Go with your gut feeling. Your intuition is not wrong, um, because they will upset this equilibrium. You've got the sun, you've got the beautiful um, cherry blossoms. You're all the generations working together, but there may be one and i know that's a kingfisher which is very highly spiritual and highly magical um but i just i just heard cuckoo in the nest so just be careful that there isn't something that's coming up that is going to make you feel like there is a cuckoo in the nest i don't know where that came from i don't know who that's for but the majority of you are going to feel that pull of the family coming back together. And it may be that somebody is unwell and the family are going to rally around and they're going to make sure that they're okay. They may come and stay with another family member for a short period of time till they're back on their feet. Um, or it could be a younger person who's fledging for the first time and everybody's going to rally around getting a bit of furniture here and a little present there to make sure that their first home is going to be absolutely blinding for them. And I have to say, Libra, we really enjoy doing that for people. So if that is something that you are doing for somebody currently, um, know that you're going to get a lot of pleasure from that. But like I say, there's, there's going to be one or two of you out there your intuition is really honed in at the moment and it's going honestly you just need to be aware of that feeling that maybe somebody's where they're not supposed to be okay so facing your fears and taking your power back you've got a lot of strength you've got the crone here in other decks this is called the strength card she's the crone she is an experienced older witch um, she has walked this journey for a long time, picking up knowledge and wisdom as she goes. And her companion, and in this deck particularly, I see this particular, and it has to be this deck, because it's other decks, I don't see it. But I see this as their guide or their gatekeeper, who offers them the strength to continue their journey. And then, oh my God, facing your fears and taking your power back. You're certainly doing that. You have the witch and the crone together. Now, either you have got a succession, a long line of females in your family that do certain things, magic or something that brings them a great a great amount of knowledge and wisdom and you have been privy to that uh, but it's not your experience so what they're saying is go back to basics go back to basics enjoy the basics the paraphernalia all of that is great it's lovely having the wisdom and knowledge of somebody else who's been it seen it and done it but there's nothing like experiencing it for yourself so darlings go back to basics get in touch with the earth understand the elements understand where you fit in to this journey because you have got the witch at number one you've got the crone at number eight so there is and either you are the older person that's going to be helping a younger person understand their role and that's going to stand you in massive energy um, and it is going to be a family member it's not going to be somebody outside of your family now your family is not necessarily that your bloodline it could be people that you choose to have around you um if that's the case you're going to thoroughly enjoy it on the other hand if you are the younger person who is just starting out maybe on their magical journey now the magical journey doesn't have to be witchcraft it can be the law of attraction it can be um, wish fulfillments it could be a different faith a different way of living it doesn't matter it is what is around you what resonates for you the best if this is you it may be 
that you will tap into somebody and be quite surprised that they actually do what you've set out to do yourself and because I'm getting that although they've got the knowledge and wisdom they they don't always freely um give the heads up that this is what they do but by you starting that journey they're able to now support you and lift you up and go yes this this is absolutely the right way to go whichever way round that resonates for you um just understand that to have the crone and the witch in the same and in the same position as well this is huge you are going to take your power back you're going to face those fears and you are going to take your power back whatever that fear is around this smoke and mirrors for week one i have to say this energy that i picked up earlier is not going to be around you for very long it isn't you're going to suss them and the person's going to back off because they know how strong you are and they know that and also i'm getting i've just heard maiden mother to crone um so maybe you have been a generate generational witch healer whatever that means for you um because it can mean healer as well because let's face it witch actually does mean wise person it does mean the head sub like hedge witch like i practice i'm on the edge of my village and i'm the hedge witch so people come to me um just because they've got a problem and they want a solution to it so darlings your next card your manifestation your wish fulfillment might make fact it's not fucked you're just waiting for it to come in it's not fucked at all you've sown the seeds you've sown the seeds now you're getting little glimpses of the harvest but it's not quite there that's why you keep manifesting but don't know if you quieten your mind if you go within and you put it out into the cosmos in your energy in your power then you can just sit back and visualise everything that you want coming towards you. Um, just allow, even in meditation, because I find meditation much easier to visualise, and that's because of my dyslexia. So when I go into a meditative state, I can actually see the things that I want flying around my head, and then I can get them into order and bring them in, and that's how I calm my mind so just know that this is happening for you but because you've not seen the full bearing of fruits yet look at that bearing of fruits and the harvest card uh, because you haven't seen the full bearing of fruits yet um you keep manifesting keep doing it because it will come to you it will wholeheartedly um come to you so darlings three of pentacles this is your movement, your journey. So this is information from surprising sources. This is collaborations. This is the getting together with somebody. And either the pupil's becoming the tutor or the tutor's becoming the pupil. Um, whichever way around this is, this is equal information. So there may be a younger person in you that you just think has got old head on young shoulders. Or there may be an older person than you who has kept banging on about the same sayings over and over and over. And then you have this aha moment and you go, oh, that's what it meant. Um, yeah. So that's a really nice card to have on your journey. Uh, because it does indicate that there are people there that are going to be helping you along your way. Um, you have the seven of chalices, my darling. There's options um choices and i don't know why i said options i hate that word if you see options then you're not on the right path um if you are on your right path your true path there should there might be slight diversions but there is never that many options to um take so if that's how you feel you really do need to hone them down um and not let other people influence what it is that you're thinking and feeling about those options um if you feel that these are choices which are very different or blessings different again then great you can take one you can take them all they all belong to you um options are not answers your choices that you make will be because 
when you choose which ones you want to take, um, that is when your whole heart space, your emotions, everything will come into alignment. And it doesn't necessarily have to be around love. I am guessing that this is more around a manifestation that you have been asking for for a long time. And the collaboration um, may come from a very surprising source. If it is blessings, and that's the one that I would normally opt for, that is seven blessings. That, um, some of the cups are full, some of them you're going to feel for yourself. Um, but again, these little fey folk, they can make magic, they can make mischief. Do not listen to them. Um, obviously, you can talk to your friends about it. But don't be burdened by other people's opinions at this point because um, I'm kind of getting that there may be some opinions that really do not go with the flow of your Ten of Pentacles and your Harvest card. So love is what you can do about this situation. It's just stand in your own magic. Stand in your own truth. Um, you've got the Sith. Uh, now, in some folklore, she is told to be a fairy. In other folklore, she is told to be a witch. Um, but she draws energy down from the moon and from the goddess. And she adds beautiful magic to that lotion, that potion that she's making. Her kitchen is well equipped. And she's even got the little fae folk over here adding little bits of magic as she goes don't stand in your power, your magic power. You know you have the power to make all of this happen. You know you have. You honestly, you have. And I have to say, um, this is one of the better Libra readings that I've done in weeks. In weeks. When that smoke and mirrors turns up, I thought, oh crap, here we go again. But no, once you've got the second week under pat, this is all going to happen really nicely for you over the fortnight. So darlings, what the fuck is out of your hand? You've got the six of wands. This is the accolade card. This is you coming back triumphant um, of do, achieving something, doing something. The attraction card. People emanate of being around you. They like your light. And you tend to be the light. You tend to lead um, people to where they need to be in order. Maybe to do things for friends, family and community. But this is being held out of your way. So I'm kind of getting for some of you that something has been put on hold that's not in your grasp just yet. But the universe is saying it's still there. You can still have this accolade. You can still have this um success it's, it's it's yours for the taking it's just not right now and that my lovelies i have to say is a different vibe from this and i'm gonna say if you look at this six of wands this is around a project or a plan it may be around some education it may be around something that you're learning a different skill around but it they're saying not just yet, it's being held up. So, the reconnecting to your true self. My darlings, you've got the eight of a things. Now, this is an air card. You will completely understand this because you've had the quieting of the mind already. Um, I have to say you're being told twice. Be still. Take a breath. Stop using your eyes and your ears and go within and use your intuition. Do not move if you are in doubt. If in doubt, do now. Honestly, just take a breath and be still. Just take a breath and be still. It's okay to do that. It is okay to feel a little bit like you are bound. Um, and it may be to quiet your mind. You might have to take that dramatic step of keeping yourself still of keeping your mind on track um, just so that you can reconnect with your visions, with where 
you really want to be and i know this looks like a dark card but it's a nighttime card it's not dark in the fact that it's dark and dismal if you look at the bottom here the sun is either just going down or just coming up but you have got beautiful ripe fruit um the hedgehog's very happy that the apples have fallen so i'm kind of getting that this is going to be um this is going to be a long this is going to be around your birthday when you are going to really have to um go within i'm getting that you should be doing it anyway start practicing now because around your birthday you are going to need this you are going to need this yeah okay so what the fuck is happening next oh my goodness really so my darling, you know you've stepped into your power as the witch and the crone you're facing your fears and taking your power back definitely you've got the earth mother the queen of pentacles has shown up now she is the queen of stability and abundance love and nurturing when she shows up in your reading this could be somebody around you, male or female, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, or it could be your good self. It could be that you are in this energy yourself. Um, I have to say, however, in comes the Queen of Cups as well. Healing, knowing that you need to build a cup for yourself knowing that your cup needs to have your wants and desires in it and then she's also the queen of diversion she doesn't like um nastiness she don't like arguments she doesn't like um disagreements so she will find a way of diverting herself away from those kind of situations the two of them coming out together when you get earth and water things grow things grow um now if this is you standing in both these energies i have to say not only are you showing a lot of stability and abundance you're showing this loving this nurturing this kind healing side knowing that you need to do this for yourself and it may be that this issue at the beginning of week one where you kind of like feel like that there's a cuckoo in the nest and um, that you will in actual fact not do anything dramatic about it you will just divert yourself away from it and allow the situation to resolve itself because your perspective oh i'm sorry sorry darlings water sign if that is a male or female around you they're going to be cancer scorpio or pisces um or somebody with inner water energy but I'm getting that this is your energy. I'm getting that you're both those queens. And I'm surprised that the Empress hasn't showed up. Because if you're showing two queens. Um, yeah, or the priestess even. So right in behind that you've got the um, Oak King. He is hanging around because he's looking for a different perspective. He's kind of like um, just hanging around. He's just. Well, what do I do next? Um, I'm kind of getting that you've looked at things from different perspectives. And I have to say, with the Four of Pentacles coming in behind that, you're holding on to something. Now, it could be finances, but I'm, I'm kind of getting that this is something to do with the home life. You're holding on to um, your emotions. You're holding on. Um, to something that's happened in the past and you'll be fucked if you're going to let somebody come in and take what is yours um, rightly so um, but this is the perspective that you have got um, around this two queen energy do not let somebody take that energy away from you even if your perspective shows and if you look in that tree just here there's a little robin maybe you're getting downloads from the spiritual realm um you've got the infinity sign so it feels like you might be going around in circles a little bit but 
I am getting that you really do need to put your bloody foot down and that person at the door, they have I just heard they've had more than their fair share, Libra. They've had more than their fair share. You haven't got to share anything else with them, whether it is finances, material items or emotions. Do not spend any more on them. They've had more than their fair share. Oh, I don't know where that came from, but it did. And then you've got the Knight of Athamis. This is messages coming in so damn fast that you might miss one or two. Or messages going out so damn fast that you might miss one or two. Please, please, please check your messages. Don't you just check your WhatsApp. Check your messages. Um, I did something this week and I missed two messages that were really important. Um, because I was checking... Um, in different message boxes so make sure you're checking all of your boxes for messages likewise your emails check your junk mail check your drafts that things are being sent and if you've written a letter make sure it has been sent and it hasn't just dropped down the back of the sofa or the back of the desk um because this what's coming in towards you is at a great rate of knots and you could lose um the essence of the messages that are coming to you and maybe somebody has said to you oh we'll write to you about it and you've not heard anything um perhaps their postal system isn't working as well as it should um give them a call check it out um don't be frightened to kind of dig a little bit deeper and that's what the badger is about dig deeper about the messages that are coming in towards you lovely But this cuckoo in the nest has come up. I got the essence that they were here and now it's dropped down to the four of pentacles. This person is going to be held at the door. There is no way they're going to be able to get through because you are standing in your truth and your power. You are. And I'm getting that's what the smoke and mirrors um, is about in the first week. Something could be and should be better than it is. And once it clears, the clarity around this is going to be huge for you. Look at this. Three of cauldrons, celebrations with friends, family and community. How beautiful is that? That's a little way off. That is at the bottom of the deck. So this is coming in for you um, a bit later on. But it is definitely on the cards that there is going to be celebrations just keep staying in that huge power you've got the crow you've got the witch you've got another witch here you have got two queens i have to say if you add all of those up you're either at priestess level or empress level and that's huge you just haven't recognized it yet you need to embrace quiet the mind and embrace that energy week one and now week two thank you it's a journey branch out to new worlds how beautiful is that and week two kindness take respite by the pond and be kind to yourself and others that was your be still card right angels and ancestors can we have some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Libra, please, for this week? And for next week. Have some knowledge, wisdom, guidance for Libra for the following week, please. Thank you. And then anything else for Libra, please? Oh, loads. So week one, you have Spirit Fox. And it says, trust your talents in changing times. Absolutely. Quieten the mind, bearing fruit, harvest. Just trust that this is going to happen for you, darlings. Earth Guardians, stay rooted and grounded. You also have the Earth Mother 
who brings that essence, that energy to you. Week two, you have Hunter. Track down your fears and desires. Warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Druid, hold this space. And Knight, be brave and honest. And you know that, that being brave and honest, I can see all the others coming in. The warrior, the hunter, the druid, the trader. But the knight, the culmination of week two is around this issue. Be brave and honest. Keep it truthful. Keep within your integrity. And this person, whoever this is, is the only negative part of your reading. Whoever this is, is going to have their true colours shown for them. They are. So what else you need to know is Hermit, you need to retreat and recharge. Just take a breath, my darlings. Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect. Lord, take charge with authority. And the Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. What a phenomenal reading. I might even call it that. It's definitely a sacred special journey for you and I think the realisation that you are standing in all of these powers means that you are either stepping into empress mode or priestess mode um, is huge. It's, I will be surprised if the next reading that I do for you doesn't show the empress or the priestess coming up somewhere in the reading. Darlings, wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.